In this video, I want to go over a very, very famous book written by a very, very famous mathematician of the past. This is the Polya and Lada book, and that is George Polya. That is Polya. That's, that's the guy. Uh, super, super famous uh, mathematician. And this is his book, or their book, on complex variables. This is a really good book. Let's take a look inside this classic. This is the preface. I really love what it says. It says, after having lectured for several decades on complex variables, several decades, so this guy, uh, I mean, he is a legend, to prospective engineers and physicists, I have definite and I hope not unrealistic ideas about the requirements and preferences. Students are students. Since they are required to take several courses, they may study some subjects just for the examination with the intention of forgetting what they have learned after the examination. Okay, so that's a little bit... Uh, pessimistic, you know, with, with the intention of forgetting. Nevertheless, he goes on, if you continue reading, and he explains that he wrote the book in a way that is hopefully appealing and engaging to, to the reader. So I think he's done that. I think it's a really, really clean presentation of a challenging subject. This is the contents. It starts off with complex numbers, and it starts off from the beginning. So real numbers, complex numbers, Complex numbers as marks in a plane. <laughs> I love that terminology. Complex numbers as vectors in a plane. Talks about addition and subtraction. So really, really basic. Anyone can pick up this book and just start with, you know, chapter one. It's written uh, at a very introductory level at the beginning of, of the book. Then it goes on to complex functions, and it starts to get a little more involved here uh, rather quickly. Polya then goes on to differentiation, then conformal mapping by given functions, then Cauchy's theorem, all the usual stuff, and a little bit more, honestly, than a lot of the newer books. Cauchy's integral formula, you see that in every complex variables course. Some analytic continuation stuff. Hydrodynamics, a little bit more advanced stuff. Asymptotic expansions. And there is the last of it. So complex variables, the Polya and Lata book. Let's turn the page. So this is chapter one, complex numbers. And again, it's written at a very introductory level. So you could pick up this book and read quite a bit of it and understand most of it, which I think is really important in mathematics. You want to be able to understand uh, what you're reading, at least at the beginning of the book. You know, if you pick up a book and you have a hard time with the first two pages, it's really easy to get discouraged. So I think Paglia knew that when he wrote this book, and that's why he wrote it in the way that he wrote it, to keep people engaged. One of the downsides of this book is that Paglia does not include answers to any of the exercises. It would have been very, very nice if there would have been at least some answers, even to just the odd-numbered exercises or some of them. So... That makes this uh, not the best book for self-study, but nevertheless, it's still a really good reference. And if you can get it for just a few dollars, honestly, you can buy this book and just read portions of it. And whatever you understand, you know, you understand. Anything you can get from this book is worth getting. The book reads really quite well. It is a math book, so when you read it, you know, you're going to struggle. Uh, you might not understand everything you read unless you read it carefully with a pencil and paper. I honestly believe, though, it's okay to read the book and not understand everything. If you're just reading this for leisure or to supplement your course, again, any, anything you can get from reading this book is a positive thing. So if you read the book for 30 minutes and you learn one new thing, I think it's worth learning that, that one new thing. This is a really good book, and Paglia was a really famous mathematician, uh, so I really highly recommend this book to anyone who is studying complex variables. Again, the book is Complex Variables, and this is the book by Paglia and Lara. It's a really good book, and if you're learning complex variables or you're taking a course in complex variables, I highly recommend this as a supplement. Um, I think if you're learning on your own, you should have more than just this book because this book doesn't really contain the answers. So uh, I would just definitely add this, though, to your collection if you are interested in collecting like me. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure to like, share, and of course subscribe. And if you're not a member already, consider becoming a member to help support the math sorcerer. Take care.